welcome back to another video from HSTV and um, Happy New Year I guess this will be the first video of 2021 and as you can see by the title we are going to be looking at the Complete Anatomy 21 app um, this is the app that my university Edinburgh University has um, given to me and I've been using it in my first semester of medical school and will probably use it for my training throughout medical school so uh, it is a really useful tool and it's on my tablet my Samsung Tab S7 Plus uh, which by the way if you want more information on I've done a whole video series on that as well so go and please check it out and as well as the tab you can get it on PC and iOS and basically it's a cross-platform app which makes it really useful because you can just look at it on the go um, and yeah we're just gonna be going into the, some of the details of it and I hope that we'll get a better insight um, into whether this app is worth buying or not um, and yeah, I mean, that's gonna be what this video is about. But I do just wanna say quickly that um, 2021 is gonna bring a lot of new content with it for this channel. And um, one of the main things coming very soon is a note-taking series. So I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who's been appreciating all my notes and been receiving a lot of compliments. So I really do thank you all for that. Um, but if you want to know how you can take amazing notes as well, then I will be doing a three-part note taking series coming very very soon um, so lots of exciting stuff happening um, the new semester is also starting from next week so probably more day in the life vlogs as well and any more video suggestions you have please do leave them in the comments but I think I'm done talking for now and I'll show you anatomy app Alright, so the Complete Anatomy 21 3D Human Body Atlas is available on laptop, tablet and smartphone. It has over 17,000 structures and it's actually a free app to download. There's so many different tools on it and it's really incredible for how much you can get for a free app. Now, really, is it worth buying the subscription? This is what I am going to let you guys know. Now the main bulk of the anatomy teaching is on the models tab as you can see here where we have a fully rotatable model um, 3D skeleton and it's super realistic because you can turn on different layers of different parts of the body. So you have connective tissue layers, muscular layers, arterial layers and in this you have a real life beating heart and yes you can go and explore it further which is super cool. As well as this we have a lymphatic layer, nervous system layer, respiratory layer, digestive digestive layer, endocrine layer, urogenital layer and an inaugmentary layer and these can all be turned on and off depending on what you're learning. Now you can select various body parts depending on what you're learning so you can for example here select the frontal bone or the scapula and if you want to go into more detail about a section there are plenty of options to choose from for example the cross section option lets you literally slice the body horizontally in a transverse plane um, so you can go and explore the different parts you're looking for. Now on the topic of the lung, there is another option called conditions and in this there are various videos that you can choose from that give you all the different conditions related to the body part you've selected. So this video is showing heart failure and as you can see the animation is so smooth and so clear and it really explains the basics of a disease um, as you're learning about it. So I found this feature incredibly useful and I'm sure that throughout my medical training it's going to really come in handy. Now as well as the main model, we also have 22 more detailed models of different human body parts. Now as part of this, you have like your head and neck for example, but also microbiology cells that you can go into more detail. So for example, a blood cell here, you can go and select different parts and get more information about them. Now as well as the conditions tab, there's also a treatments tab. So again, with the heart selected, we are looking at a coronary bypass stenting procedure. And you can see here again, how clearly it explains the concept of stenting. Um, yes, it's animated and it's not a real life person, but it explains the basics of it very accurately. Another 
tab that can be explored is the exercises and stretch tabs and these are all to do with your muscle movements and how different body motions will trigger different muscles to help you move. Um, and this makes everything so much clearer, I would say. It's also incredibly easy to isolate different structures. So the frontal bone, um, you can see cross sections of it. You can also see the different parts of the frontal bone. You can see the surfaces around the, sur the frontal bone. You can see the different landmarks, um, which also tell you where foramina may be. also tells you the surfaces and the sutures, um, tells you the craniometrics, again, where different nerves could go through, and it also tells you which models the frontal bone may be a part of. And as well as this, you of course have your treatments and condition videos. There are also a range of tools that you can use, and this is more helpful for teaching purposes, but for example, the pen mode here, um, it's useful for you to label up certain body parts, and then you have your cut tool which can cut different parts out for you if you want to go into more detail about a certain structure and there's also a fracture tool which can help to replicate a real life fracture um, which is again really useful in teaching purposes so you can see a zoom up of the fracture in just a second here um, which will let you guys know um, especially students how to deal with a certain fracture for example and even these little pain symbols as well can of, of course none of this is going to be that accurate guys but you can zoom up on it and you can really see and get a better idea of what's going on now, there's also a search mode which is super useful for searching any body part any muscle nerve and it literally just gets it out for you Now on tablet mode only, um, we can see radiology and we can study x-rays and MRIs and CT scans in a lot more depth. So for example here, I'm showing you a chest x-ray which is fully labeled up with a real-time image beside. And all of this, um, you can click any body part um, on the real-time image or the x-ray and it will uh, show you it. And here again on the MRI, you can click on any of the labels and it's actually really useful for testing yourself as well. Um, yeah. Now some more really nice resources on this app are the educational videos and for example a rotator cuff tear um, has a really nice animation here which explains things really well and there's very few videos out there that explain medical conditions in this much depth and accuracy so this app is really um, you know amazing. There is also another ton of resources and courses made by real doctors and clinicians all over the world. And you can see the range of courses they have here. And this is pretty complex stuff. So this is not only for medical students, but actually specialties as well. And yeah, another really nice tool. And last but not least, there is an atlas of like mini lectures and mini labeled diagrams, which are very useful as well, as you can imagine. So this little diagram of um, the neck muscles um, is all labeled up and a good learning resource. All in all, I think that this app is really, really useful and it's been so helpful in my first semester of medical school, but I'm sure it's going to come in handy for my later years of training as well. And I fully recommend that you guys subscribe to it.